Shalom, shalom, shalom. Uh, first and <clears throat> foremost, as always, I would love to give all praises, honor, and glory uh, to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught us this truth. A blessings and safety to the elect. Lord willing, I'm a part of that number. Okay, of the man, women, and children that will return back to your hub by Shimmy Shah and be delivered from the said perils. All right, to you, I say Shalom. All right. And hey, man, fuck these people, man. Nigga, fuck Jake. All right. Man, Jake is full of shit, man. You no? Know? Like, like, like the mighty Levite brother from Chicago, man. The brother Murph, man. Hey, like he always say, man, if they can't get it, keep it pushing. You know? Man, the Lord, the Lord didn't set up the prophets to have a damn debate, man. Alright? The Lord didn't uh, set up the prophets to have a damn argument with you, man. Alright? When the prophets were on the scene, man, you know, they 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 wasn't just coming to, you know, show how much of the word, how much of the word of the Lord they knew, man. They just wasn't on the scene to ex exchange, you know, uh, uh, knowledge with you, man. You know, like these damn uh, Muslims and these damn uh, Christians like to say, let's break bread. Let's break bread. We can break bread with each other. Iron is sharper than iron. Well, that ain't iron, man, that you coming with, man. Let's break bread. Man, the Lord ain't set us up to break bread with you people, man. All right? He, he specifically set us up to give you a damn warning, right? When the prophets were on the scene, the people knew what was up, man. They knew something was about to happen, man. Okay? This prophet, the prophets were speaking against the kingdom that the Lord was going to destroy. All right? The prophets were speaking. Of, matter of fact, let me grab that first, man. You know, you got these, you know, these uh, pastors out here talking about they the man and they man, the men of God, man. Well, where the warning, where the warning is at, man? You know, like I said, man, the prophets weren't just on the scene just to show you that they, 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 they were knowledgeable. No, they was on the scene to give you a warning. Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old both prophesied against many countries and against, and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence, man. All right? The same thing, we, we, we the same warning we're giving out today, man. The Lord is about to destroy the kingdoms. Okay? From the greatest to the least. Okay? America being the greatest greatest kingdom ever, man. You know, this place is done, man. Okay? All the bad times are about to approach. Okay? And a lot of you people are going to, you know, perish, man. You know? So, hey, man, there, there's nothing to, de to debate about. You know, when you have a debate, you know, you try to win, you try to win the other person to your way of thinking. All right, but hey, you're not gonna you're not gonna win uh, the prophets. Hey, Lord willing, we are those uh, men. Starting with the apostles, elders, of great millstone on down, man. You're not gonna win us over to your way of thinking, man. We're giving you a warning. We're not considering shit you say. You know. Hey, let's go to the uh, book of uh, Isaiah real quick. All right, the book of Isaiah, chapter 58, verse 1. It says, cry aloud and spare not, man. No one gets spared. Now, not even us, man, when it comes to this word, man. When it comes to the word of the Lord, if you're if you're a, a, a contrary, again, or contrary to the word of the Lord, you ain't getting spared. You know, when these scriptures come out, man. You know? Hey, none of us here, man, are, are, are above the law, man. The law stands, okay? And none of us are, 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 are above it. 
You know, you got, you got, you know, this devil, he got, he has his own laws that he uh, implements, right? And then you'll have somebody who the law doesn't apply to. Hey, man, the law applies to all of us, man. So, we, hey, when it comes to, you know, going, breaking his laws of the Lord, okay? If you're breaking it, man, hey, you got to get caught. You got to get rebuked. You know? You got a lot of people in that damn Tupac spirit. Only God can judge me. You know? Oh, okay. He's going to judge you, all right? It says, cry loud, spare not. Lift up that voice like a trumpet. And show my people their transgressions in the house of Jacob their sins. So the Lord, and this is mercy. The Lord has risen up men to show you your transgressions and your sins. You know? I always quote this scripture. It says, uh... Uh, there, there is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but at the end thereof are the ways of death. You know? See, this society have literally trained you up to believe that wickedness is righteousness and that righteousness is wickedness. Okay? You know, a man having multiple women, that's wicked in the eyes of the society. But that is actually a, a righteous act. You know? But they'll tell you, but they'll tell you that uh, Moism is is, 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 is is acceptable, man. They'll tell you that uh, children being disobedient to their parents is accept, accept, acceptable, man. You know, you can't you can't put the rod on them, man. You know that's child abuse, right? Wait, well, hey, man. You know, uh, uh, putting the rod on your child is a righteous act, right? You know. They'll tell you that man and woman are equal. Okay? They'll, they'll doctrinate you with all this madness. Okay? And make you believe that it's righteous and that God stands behind it, man. Alright, and this is why when you when you when you come with righteousness or, or when you come with a a does save the Lord, they don't believe it. Well, hey, let them not believe it. Hey, the scriptures say, he that is unjust, let him remain unjust, roughly paraphrasing, man. We ain't got time to have no argument with no nigga. The Lord told us to run, warn you, man. It's the book of Ezekiel, chapter 3. Chapter 3. Verse 17 says, son of man... I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning for me. All right. It said, therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. All right. So, hey, we're giving you the warning. We're giving you the warning that the Lord is finna destroy the inhabitants of the earth. The Lord is getting ready to bring a flood of fire, man. Okay? And that you need to repent. You need to repent. Repent. Acknowledge your offenses. All right? God, forgive me for my sins. No. Acknowledge your offenses. Okay? You women, get in order, man. Get in order. Okay? Get in damn order. The Lord is not dealing with this madness, man. All right? And sooner or later, the warning is going to stop, man. And the Lord is going to uh, act. All right? But the son of man, I have made thee a, house, a watchman unto the house of Israel... Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. All right? And we see the prophecies coming to pass. Hey, what did the Lord say in the book of, uh, just we in Ezekiel. Ezekiel, the uh, 12th chapter, right? Ezekiel 12. And, um, Ezekiel 12, and uh, I believe it's 25. It says, for I am the Lord. I will speak. All right, how is the Lord speaking? The Lord is speaking through his prophets, man. 
as he always uh, spoke through his prophets, man. All right? It says, I will speak, and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. So everything that the prophets are saying is going to happen. It's going to happen, man. Because we're reading out of the book, man. We're, 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 we're telling you what the Lord plans to do. All right? It's written in this book, man, for those who can receive it, man. All right? And it said, and it shall no more be prolonged. See, these people out there, they think because it hasn't happened yet that the Lord ain't going to do it. Okay? But hey, man, it says, and it shall no more be prolonged, for in your days, O rebellious house, will I say the word and perform it, saith the Lord Yahweh, man. So the Lord is getting ready to perform, man. The Lord is getting ready to perform, man. He's the, he's the closing act, man. See, the prophets, man, we're the opening act. Okay, we're ushering in that great performance, man, which is going to be Jacob's trouble, right? Which is going to be Jacob's trouble. You know, Jeremiah 30, man, let's get these precepts rolling. Jeremiah 30 and 7. It said, for at last, at last, for the day is great. So that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Who's that? Who's going to be saved out of it? The elect, man. Which we hoping to be a part of that number, man. Because if you ain't a part of that number, you ain't going to make it. Not on this side, man. All right? You, you're going to come back through, through sex in the kingdom. All right? And a lot of you people out there, you say that you don't got a problem with that. Oh, it is what it is, man. I'm going to live my life. That's why the Lord said the same must know it at the death by pain, man. The Lord going to put a painful death on you people, man. All right? You really you really coming up against the Lord, the Heavenly Father, and His Son, man. But you, hey, but you offend His men. You offend His prophets, man. All right? Read the scriptures, man. The Lord don't play about His prophets, man. All right, the scriptures tell you, man, don't offend one of these little ones that believe in his name. All right? But hey, man, a lot of you people out there, man, you, you gonna witness the power of Yahweh by Shimmy man. All right? All right, I'm gonna go back to this uh, Ezekiel, and I'm gonna grab a closing precept because I'm, you know, getting close to the plantation, man. <clears throat> You know, this is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 3, and I'm going to start back at 17. It says, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning for me. So this is a warning, man. All right? This is not an argument. This is not a debate, man. You know, when, hey, when, you, when you hear the prophet speaking, you know, when you hear the prophet speaking, you should just shut your damn mouth, man. And take heed to the warning. Matter of fact, you know, hey, I got another precept, man. Ecclesiastics uh, 5 and 1, it says, keep thou foot when thou goest to the house of the Most High, man. All right? And this ain't talking about your local church, man, where, where Pastor Porkchop is preaching. No, man. See, that's the thing, man. You people will go to church and you will shut the hell up, man. You won't open up your mouth, man. When the pastor speaking, and this nigga speaking lies, man. He telling you a bunch of bullshit, man. All right, and when the pastor speaking at church, I don't hear nobody interrupting the pastor, man. Nobody. All right, but when you when you see these mighty men, man, or apostles and elders of great millstone, man, starting with apostle to heart, man. You you niggas you niggas always want to interrupt and talk shit, man. The Lord is gonna shut your mouth, man. And Shalakia, brothers. You know, Shalakia, man. Shalakia, you know, I'm a little bit, you know, turned up, man, because, hey, man, I cannot wait, man. Man, Lord willing, I'm a part of that number, man, but I can't wait. You know? But it says, keep thou foot when thou goest to the house of the Most High. The house of God, man. You see them uh, uh, men on the, you see those men out there uh, 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 prophesying, man. 
You know, you come across uh, uh, the men uh, putting up uh, live streams and things like that, man. You know, you on the comment board just talking away. It says, keep thou foot when thou goest to the house of the Most High, Yahweh, and be ready to hear, then to give sacrifice to fools, for they consider not that they do evil. Yeah, I had a uh, taken a, a call, Shalaki. I kind of lost my train of thought. So uh, I'm just going to read this scripture back and pull out a closing precept. But this uh, Ecclesiastes 5 and 1, it says, Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of Yahweh, and uh, be, be more ready to hear than to give sacrifice of fools, for they consider not that they do evil. So these people don't consider that they live in wicked. They don't consider it. Cause they believe, and they were brought up, uh, uh, brought up upon. Hey, they were they were cool. The Lord was gonna accept that shit, man. Okay, you know they don't consider that they coming up uh, against the apostles and elders. That these are actually the men of the Lord, man. They don't consider that. They don't consider what, consider what they doing when they flapping up at the mouth and scoffing. They don't consider that's evil. So guess what, man? Matter of fact, let me just keep reading. Because it's the point, verse 2. And it says, Be not rash with thy rash with thy mouth, and let not thy heart be hasty to utter anything before Yahweh, for Yahweh is in heaven, and thou upon the earth. Therefore, let thy words be few, man. Okay? And people do the complete opposite. They just talk away. And the scriptures say, uh, He that hear of you, hear of me. Talking about Yahweh Shah. And he that you hear Yahweh Shah, hear of Yahweh. Right, but I'm gonna just close with this precept because I just pulled up uh, to the plantation, man. All right, and um, <clears throat> you know I believe it's um, Shalakia, uh Ezekiel, um, Ezekiel thirty three, Ezekiel thirty three. <laughs> And um, 33, it says, and when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Look, it will come. The prophecies, right? Your destruction, your judgment, right? Jacob's trouble, the famine, wild beasts, the missiles, right? The tiny technology, right? Then shall they know that a prophet had been among them. Then shall they know that a prophet had been among them. This is when your grandson, your grandmother going to know, hey, Damn, my grandson was 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 the was a prophet. This is when your mother gonna know my son was a prophet. This is when your auntie gonna know my son was a prophet. This is when your cousin gonna know my son was a prophet, man. This is when the world's gonna know those men were prophets. Okay, that woman that wanted, didn't want to get it, she gonna know. Damn, he was a prophet. He told us this was gonna happen. But guess what? I quoted the scripture earlier. The same must know it at the death by pain. The Lord is going to torture these people, man. This ain't a debate. This ain't an argument. This is a warning. Repent or be destroyed. Shalom.